I was trained at the South African Broadcasting Corporation in, uh, as a cameraman. So I was a behind the scenes guy, always loved photography and moved into photojournalism. Worked with the Sunday Times Business Times section. My editor was Irene Spicer, a great person to work with, learned a lot about business and ended up uh, working in media and PR at a couple of universities, actually three universities, and uh, they felt that my skills were translatable into their fundraising departments, and so that's what I ended up uh, in a career which no everybody stumbles into, but never plans to become a fundraiser. My involvement in ministries is to come alongside ministries that need to communicate to their supporters, to their partners, to communicate their message and it's very hard to talk about yourself. So we come alongside them and basically develop, develop three pillars of messaging uh, so that it's like a three-point sermon so that you can easily uh, tell people what you're doing and uh, gives them an opportunity to understand what you're saying and then they can come alongside you. My vision is to work with uh, numerous Christian organizations and that's what's exciting for me is I'm not just working with one Christian group working with many to help them tell their story. Uh, so that would be my vision, is to see Christ glorified uh, throughout the earth. And that's why our company name is the FHG Group, uh, for His glory. We're helping in, in a sense that we help people find the funding to tell their message, because without money, uh, it doesn't go down very easily because of the media that you have to buy, uh, simple things that Christians need to rent cars, they need to uh, rent buildings, pay the, uh, put the lights and water on, you know, that sort of thing, utilities. But that's boring to tell that story. You need to say what God is doing today. What has God done for you? God is uh, using media in, in, in ways that you wouldn't believe. Uh, the Resurrection Project is moving ahead to tell the story of the Resurrection as a follow-up to the Passion of the Christ. Um, not necessarily by the same producers, but we're involved in that, uh, helping to find the funding that is necessary to start the filming and then to launch this as a project worldwide, along with a, a video game and a, a unique streaming uh, so that the studios, which always take all the money uh, for the uh, promotion of a media, of, of a movie, are uh, we're going to release this in a, in a different way so that it can get straight to Christians um, and we're looking at it probably, you know, a couple of billion people looking at it within the first uh, few weeks of it being released. So we're probably, probably about five years away from the video being released, I mean the movie, the full-fledged fl movie. And we have the uh, people who um, are behind Avatar, who will do a lot of the um, uh, animation for the movie. So this is a top-flight movie that we're looking at not a, uh, a half-baked uh, movie by any means, but one that will extend the message of Jesus, but tell the story is that He is risen indeed. There's many Christians in Hollywood. Uh, many of them are just afraid to uh, um, come out. It's, it's strange uh, to, make, to declare you know, their, um, their stand for Christ because of uh, you know, being marginalized. But we see more and more Christians are just saying, you know what? Uh, they know I'm a believer and I'm just prepared to speak about it. For example, uh, I'm working with a group to promote a movie uh, called What About Love? And the producer um, and I had a discussion about some points of the movie and I just said to him, you know what? Uh, I feel your movie is not compatible with the Christian message. And um, he said, I changed the movie. Just like that, the movie's been filmed in Bulgaria, in Romania, in Spain. And he said, I'll change the movie. And that's how we can speak into Hollywood, when, they, when we can do something without judging, but in, in, a, in a compassionate and respectful way where we've earned their trust. We've earned the right to speak to them. To be a disciple in Hollywood, is, it's tough because these folk, we've got to pray for them because they're inundated by uh, nudity, by sex, by, uh, by the money. They're tempted in all sorts of ways that you can only believe uh, um, would be in a movie script itself. So yeah, we have to pray for producers and we have to pray for actors to live godly lives so that they're not compromised into doing scenes and um, you know, episodes uh, for TV or uh, 
um, get involved in a, in a movie that is not godlike and they would compromise their, their own beliefs. People can get involved, of course, by praying, uh, becoming uh, ambassadors of, uh, of uh, for example, the Resurrection Project and telling the story around the world. And uh, of course, um, there's a donate button right on the Resurrection website. But as for my company, FHG, um, the FHG group, uh, if anybody uh, wants uh, assistance in raising the funds that they need for their organization, we'd love to come behind you and see if we are compatible. Volunteer opportunities are mostly in the um, uh, ambassador side where we would set up uh, meetings around the country within your community, within your home, where you can gather a, a prayer group or a, um, a small group where you would like to tell your message. We would call that peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, where you'd have people like yourself who believe in the message, who believe in, in, in broadcasting God's love uh, and believe in the Resurrection Project, for example. Uh, in your own community, you can volunteer as an ambassador. Problem is for people not understanding, and many business people, we spoke about this earlier today, uh, business people say, I want to be in ministry. I, why am I in a business? Well, that's where God has called you. And so we, we work with a group that is working with uh, uh, Christian businessmen around the world to understand that is their calling, that is their ministry. And so that is their talent. So we, we think of talents as being money. Your talent is your wife. Your talent is your job. Your talent is your church, your small study group. Wherever you planted, that is your talent. And how do you use those talents is, uh, is basically what God is calling you to be, is somebody who's um, growing where you planted and not always wanting to be somewhere else because God has called you where you are. What gets me up in the morning is seeing uh, ministries that have been struggling uh, to tell their own message, uh, ministries that are underfunded and uh, they, they have access to you know, their own uh, data, database, access to their own supporters, but they don't know how to tell their message. Uh, or you know, they don't know how to communicate their own story. And that's exciting to me, is to help somebody to relay their own message and their own story. Our team um, works mostly in the major gift field, um, right down to electronic communications. And um, we found that the return on investment is so much higher uh, instead of uh, spending thousands of dollars on um, unproductive media. Uh, we hone the best media uh, after discussing, you know, strategizing with, a, with an organization. Uh, we come up with a strategy for a case for support, basically, to help you tell your story in a way that is uh, uh, most efficient for your group. Some organizations can afford uh, $25,000 a month. Uh, some can afford $500 a month. And in, in that there, uh, we have to uh, find a way to communicate that is, um, would best communicate their story in a financially expedient way. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.